नमस्ते वेलकम टू अर्थ नीति वेर वी डिस्कस मनी एंड मनी मैटर्स टू हेल्प यू इन योर इन्वेस्टिंग डिसीजन टूडे ऑन आर अडार इज जुबिल एंड फार्मोवा हु हैज डिक्लेयर्ड इट्स क्वार्टरली रिजल्ट रिसेंटली एंड विच शोज एन इम्प्रेसिव टर्न अराउंड स्टोरी इट ऑल्सो रिफ्लेक्ट्स द चेंजिंग डायनामिक्स ऑफ द ग्लोबल फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इन दिस वीडियो वी विल नॉट ओनली डी कोर द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स बट ऑल्सो गो थ्रू अ कॉर्पोरेट री इन्वेंशन मास्टर क्लास समथिंग दैट द कंपनी मैनेजमेंट हैज डन थ्रू स्ट्रैटेजिक स्पेशलाइजेशन एज वी डी कोर द क्वार्टर फोर रिजल्ट एज वेल एज द फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव रिजल्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वाई रेडियो फार्मास्यूटिकल्स अ निश मोस्ट इन्वेस्टर्स ओवर लुक could represent the next frontier in precision medicine and how cdmo are silently becoming king makers in the pharmaceutical industry let's dive beyond the headline numbers to understand the fundamental shifts that are driving the pharmaceutical pa- powerhouse that is jubilant pharmoa Jubilant Pharmoa which was formerly called as Jubilant Life Sciences operates as an integrated global pharmaceutical company with three primary business segments firstly pharmaceuticals then contract research and development services and lastly proprietary novel drugs it was founded in 1978 and is headquartered in Noida in India Now the company has transformed through strategic diversification into specialized pharmaceutical niches. Now uh, it op- operates across several specialized business units. Radio Pharma, which is Radio Pharmaceuticals and Radio Pharmacies. Secondly, Allergy Immunotherapy. Then Contract Development and Manufacturing Organization, Sterile Injectables. then contract research development and manufacturing organization then comes generics and lastly proprietary novel drugs here is a little known fact jubilant pharmoa operates the second largest radio pharmacy network in the united states now this gives it significant positioning in this specialized market that many investors overlook when analyzing pharmaceutical stocks moving forward to analyzing the fourth quarter results of jubilant Phar- pharmoa it is safe to say that the company has turned a corner now the results are impressive where the consolidated net profit declared by the company in the fourth quarter of financial year 2025 stood at 151 crores comparing to a net loss of 61 crores in the same quarter last year this remarkable transformation underscores the efficacy of the company's strategic initiatives revenue from operations increased by nearly 10% year on year basis to reach 1929 crores from 1758 crores in the same quarter last year this growth was broad based across most business segments indicating the company's diversified growth prospects the company demonstrated improved operational efficiency with ebitda margins jumping by 23% to through, uh, 357 crore rupees compared to 289 crore rupees in quarter 4 of financial year 2025 now more impressively the ebitda margin expands by 210 basis points to reach 18.4 percent up from 16.3 percent a year ago this margin expansion reflects successful cost optimization initiatives and a shift towards higher margin business segments now looking at the full fiscal year results jubilant pharma reported extraordinary growth in profitability consolidated net profit soared at 836 crore rupees compared to just 72 crores in financial year 2024 Now this represents a staggering growth of nearly a thousand and fifty percent. Total revenue from operations stood at seven thousand two thirty four crores, an increase of approximately eight percent from six thousand seven hundred two crores in the previous year. While this revenue growth is solid but not spectacular, the company's ability to dramatically improve profitability from similar revenue levels. 
the uh, demonstrates significant operational improvements and strategic focus on higher margin businesses the most significant financial achievement for the fiscal year was probably the change in the debt position from a net debt to ebitda ratio of 2.5 it was reduced to 1.1 in march 2025 now this indicates a much stronger balance sheet health and enhanced financial flexibility this res debt reduction was facilitated by voluntary debt repayment of 125 million usd during the financial year that passed now the various business segments of jubilant pharmova reveal varied performance across diversified operations firstly looking at the radio pharmaceuticals and radio pharmacy segment now this segment delivered 15% year on year growth in the quarter 4 of financial year 2025 reaching 296 crores for the full year this segment the revenue for this segment grew at 13% to 1074 crore rupees Uh, if you go to allergy immunotherapy segment the segment showed modest growth at 2% year on year in the quarter 4 with revenue reaching 192 crores while growth was more restrained than other segments it represents stable performance in a specialized niche thirdly for the cdmo sterile injectable segment the this emerged as one of the star performers for the company where the revenue grew by an impressive 31% year on year basis in quarter 4 of financial year 2025 it reached 340 crore rupees the company is experiencing excellent traction in this business due to a significant market trend large innovator pharmaceutical companies are increasingly looking to establish alternate manufacturing sites in the us as a risk management measure towards potential tariff an industry insight that many investors miss the cdmo sterile injectable space is experiencing a significant reshoring trend while many pharmaceutical companies seeking us based manufacturing partners to mitigate supply chain risk and navigate potential tariff environment this positions jubilant's us manufacturing facilities particularly well for future growth the crdmo segment delivered 19.86% year on year growth in the fourth quarter the revenue uh, reached 338 crore rupees During the year the company added strategic capabilities in biologics and antibody drug conjugates in drug discovery positioning it for future growth in high value services Generics was the only business which experienced a decline in revenue now its revenue reduced by came down by 22% year on year basis but the company declared that despite decline in revenue the segment turned profitable in the financial year 2025 which is quite noteworthy right so next we will go to industry analysis now the cdmo market is projected to grow from a usd 242 billion in 2024 to usd 465 billion uh, by 2032 now this exhibits a cagr growth rate of 8.5% This growth is driven by pharmaceutical companies increasingly outsourcing manufacturing and development activities to focus on their core competencies a lesser known fact in 2024 the cdmo industry saw significant consolidation with several multi billion dollar investments in biologies fill finish and cell and gene therapy capabilities this trend is reshaping the competitive landscape and creating larger and more capable cdmo leaders the global radio pharmaceutical market was valued at 6.74 billion in 2024 and is expected to reach 14.44 billion by 2034 which is a cagr growth rate of 7.35% regarding the global generic drug market uh, it has reached usd 390 billion in 2024 and it is projected to grow to 675 billion by 2033 growing at a cagr of 5.7 uh, reflecting on the financial reach of uh, jubilant pharmova uh, as of the latest data available now jubilant pharmova is trading at a pe ratio between 22.9 to 27.1 which is in line with broader pharmaceutical sector 
the return on equity stands at 9.50 which shows improvement from previous years the company's return on capital employed is also at 9.50 levels which also indicates more moderate efficiency improvement in generating profit from its capital base the book value per share is reported at 393 rupees resulting in a price to book ratio of approximately 2.4% Uh, the current market price of jubilant farmova is hovering around 940 levels with market capitalization around 15000 crores the stock has shown strong performance over the past year approximately rising at 31 to 33% outperforming many of its pharmaceutical sector peers Following the Q4 result announcement, the stock has rallied nearly four and a half percent to reach nine hundred and forty-seven rupees, reflecting positive investor sentiment about the company turnaround and future growth prospects. The company has articulated an ambitious Vision 2030, a strategic plan with key objectives. Now, firstly, the company intends to double its revenue by financial year 2030. margin expansion in the range of nearly 23 to 25% from its current levels of 18% thirdly the company also uh, plans to go debt free by 2030 and it also uh, plans to enhance return on capital uh, uh, from the current levels of 9.5% to uh, somewhere in the range of uh, 50 uh, 12 to 20% Now to achieve these ambitious goals the company has undertaken several key initiatives firstly it uh, has uh, plans to enhance its product portfolio also expansion of its manufacturing capabilities development of its product pipeline under the novel drug category and focus on us manufacturing is also one of the strategic initiatives that the company has undertaken let us do a swot analysis of the company fundamentals now firstly looking at their strength it has a diversified business model now the company uh, operates across multiple segments reducing dependency on a single revenue stream secondly it has strong us presence uh, jubilant maintains the second largest radio pharmacy network in the us which provides it significant market positioning in this specialized field now uh, the company has also reduced its debt and improved its margin significantly which reflects on its improved financial health the company is well positioned in high growth segments like cdmo and radio pharmaceuticals that align with positive industry trends looking at some of the weaknesses that the company has faced well there are revenue uh, decline challenges in the generic segment now this is particularly concerning in this competitive market also historically the company has uh, grown the sales growth is recorded at a mere 3.9% over the past 5 years this is as per data available on screener app now despite recent improvements the return on capital employed and return on equity matrix still lag behind industry leaders and company's own 2030 vision targets the opportunities in front of the company well the cdmo market is growing rapidly and has a significant growth potential especially given the trends towards us based manufacturing facilities the company is well positioned to benefit from expected doubling of radio pharmaceutical market over the next decade advanced clinical trials for proprietary novel drugs could open a new revenue stream and higher margin business opportunities also achieving a zero debt target would significantly enhance the financial flexibility and potentially improve valuation multiples of the company what are the threats that the company faces well the pharmaceutical industry faces ongoing regulatory challenges and compliance requirements that could impact its operations and cost increasing competition in the high growth cdmo space as more and more players recognize and enter this attractive market particularly in generic business which could continue to face margin challenges despite recent improvements in profitability is also one of the threats that the companies face 
trade tensions and tariff policies could impact global operations although the company is well positioned uh, from uh, its us manufacturing facilities so to conclude jubilant pharmova's quarter 4 and financial year results represents a significant turnaround story with the company successfully executing on multiple strategic fronts to transform its financial health the dramatic improvement in profitability substantial debt reduction growth in high potential segments like cda mosterile injectables and radio pharmaceuticals position the company well for continued progress towards its vision 2030 goals what makes jubilant pharmova particularly interesting from a fundamental perspective is not only its recent financial turnaround but how it has positioned itself at the intersection of several major healthcare trends precision medicine through radio pharmaceuticals pharmaceutical outsourcing through cdmo services reshoring of critical manufacturing capabilities these trends have longer runways than typical pharmaceutical product cycles potentially providing more sustainable growth opportunities for the company as the company progresses to its vision 2030 goals the key matrix to monitor will be continued margin expansion substantial debt reduction acceleration of revenue growth particularly in its high potential segments like radio pharma and cda sterile injectables this analysis demonstrates how understanding both company specific fundamentals and broader industry dynamics provides investors with a much deeper, uh, richer perspective as to why a particular industry or a company is worth your money. Now, this analysis was for educational purposes and not a stock recommendation. It is advised that you approach a financial expert to guide you into right investing decisions. If you have liked this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such informative content. Please add in your comments about anything that you want to say about this stock or this sector in particular and we will be happy to read them. Until next time, stay safe, goodbye and happy investing.